That's a proper way to start this kind of video. With the trans juice. True. Ba -na 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 -na. Ba -na. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host, Tom Dark. With me, I have a Cheeto. Yet again, we're back at it like a crack addict. In this case, we're actually talking about a crack addict. <laughs> Funnily enough, we are Funny talking enough, about a crack is... addict named Keffels. <laughs> It was uh, someone you guys have heard about a lot, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Stunning 53.6 thousand subscribers. She's making it. She's blowing up. She's next up. She's making it out of the hood. She's going to buy a Bugatti. And I'm very proud of her for that. But uh, she's been in some hot water lately, as you guys know, uh, for a lot of reasons. Basically, her entire past is being relitigated as a result of her defending Vosh for his lolly con takes. Yeah. We've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. Well, and then now people are talking about Catboy Ranch. They're talking about her literally funding a website to ship estrogen to children against their say, parents' will. I was about to bring it up. You said she's in hot water, and it's the same hot water that was present in the bathtub. <laughs> the bathtub estrogen. How is that not crazy though? That this is like this is a person that people know of, and she's like on YouTube. Yeah, no, and, this and person not is everyone in the comment section is being like you. Freak. Yeah, no, it's, it's essentially this is an individual whose entire infamy comes from the fact that they produce chemicals to castrate people. DIY castration is this person's bread and butter. Yeah. Like, literally, some people are like, hey, I'm good at fishing. I know a good fishing spot. Some people are like, hey, I can do arts and crafts. I can do, you know, beautiful works of art. This person is like, yeah, I kind of like do alchemy in my bathtub to gender swap people that are interested kids. in my content. To gender swap Ch kids. Children. Yeah. Literal kids. Children. Like, if you hate Matt Walsh and you're Keffels. How can you even have a fucking problem? You are confirming yeah. everything he thinks. In his mind, trans people are coming for children to make them trans, and then you're like, hey, I'm coming for children to make them trans. Yeah. Like, how can you how can you be upset about anything? Literally at this point. But right now she's in some hot water. And the reason why starts with J. Ugh. Sorry, the trans juice. And the reason why starts with James Summerton. Now, you guys probably know James Summerton was the subject of an H Bomber guy video where he was called out for plagiarism. Ever since then, it seems like he's been on a big downward spiral on YouTube. He's been having a very hard time. His career has basically been ruined as a result of him being called out. And as soon as it came out, apparently, that James Summerton had potentially killed himself, Keffels drops this video titled James Summerton May Have Taken His Own Life. And I believe it was originally actually called James Summerton Took His Own Life and then she changed it after the fact. Okay, so she titled the video, James Summerton has taken his own life, and then retitled it because I shouldn't have named it that until there is full confirmation of whether or not he is safe. Probably I'm not. sorry for the soft alarm. I'll be doing updates as the situation unfolds. Well, yeah. thank God, Keffels, you'll be giving us updates. You probably should not. Yeah, you probably shouldn't title videos like, this person is f***ing dead. If they're not dead. If they're or if you don't dead. know if they're dead. Not like, to me, to me, to me, like, it's not even that much of an issue that she covered the fact that a guy may have died. Like, when Tumad died, a lot of people covered that. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it, right? I think, like, reporting someone's death is an important part of the news. But if you don't know if someone's dead, why would you say that? Why would yeah. you say he's taking his own life when you don't know? All we know about James is that he made a post saying that he wanted to take his own life and he couldn't take it anymore and then got offline. To me, that's not confirmation that he's gone. That's not. And if he is, I mean, that's that's horrible. I feel bad for him. I don't think there's anything wrong with making videos about it inherently. I don't know the context of this, so I may be asking the wrong question. Okay. Did she Photoshop that message on there? If this message is live, it means I've scheduled it before ending things. Did she like fake a sign out on the thumbnail? No, I think this is the real, this is part of the real message he sent, actually. Oh. It'd be funny if she put, like, the revolution will not be televised, though. Yeah, That'd be just, pretty crazy. Just straight trolling. Straight trolling. Like, 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 I'm dead, skull emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skull emoji. Just, I'm skull <laughs> yeah. emoji. No, he's skull emoji. He's <laughs> that should have been the title. Yeah. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Hello, bozo. Okay, so obviously we're making jokes a little bit here, but if he did actually pass away, that's very sad, obviously. I don't think it's H Bomber Guy's fault that he passed away, particularly. I mean, he called him out for plagiarism on YouTube. The guy had kind of a mental downward spiral. If, if he did die, that's very sad. I don't think that's H Bomber Guy's fault, though. But what I do find very interesting is that a lot of people have actually been calling out Keffels recently, calling her basically a piece of sh this Lily Simpson person said, it is absolutely ghoulish to transform someone's potential side into content. And I would agree that making a making content about someone's side when you don't know what's going on is kind of if you're just making it clear that like it is complete speculation, then I think it's fine. I think the problem really was the prior title. In this case, I feel like it's not that big of a deal that she made a video about it. Like I think you can make videos about people dying 
like it is part of the news like people are people have a public interest in this the news makes videos when celebrities die yeah. they make vi they, they do reports on like this person is missing they're potentially dead right they do that that's in the public interest to know obviously right but here they left a reply saying frankly this response makes it worse like you don't exploit an unconfirmed side that is all just rumors currently as if it is news and then just pay fifty dollars to a random charity as if that negates what you were doing i will agree with the uh <laughs> the charity part you know what i will say this is literally like the brazo thing the guy who milked technoblade's death for like 50 videos straight yeah and then faked his charity he was like oh i'm so sorry i milked technoblade's cancer for views I'm gonna donate three thousand dollars to a cancer research charity, which obviously that's worse because it, it turned out that he completely faked the donation. Really? Yeah. He faked the donation, dude. He because what happened was he did this video where he donated to the cancer research thing, and there was a cut right before he clicked the donate button, where you can see instead of the three thousand dollars that he was gonna donate, because there was a dollar sign before the three thousand, there's a quick cut where the dollar sign's gone. And it's just the number 3,000. Oh. And then it's like, I'm going to donate it, guys. And then he did, in reality, he sent like a dollar or something Is like that. Is that guy that. still on YouTube? Yeah. Well, what happened, actually, that's a funny backstory. So this guy ended up getting exposed for milking Technoblade's cancer for clout. And then he kind of just rode this wave of covering obscure MCYT drama for a while, which thank God I got out of that. For those of you who don't know, maybe you don't care, but for a while back in 2021, my entire channel was basically like meat watching these MCYT guys. Tommy Enid said, what? Wilbur Sutt said, what? Tubbo said, what? Whole time I have a gun to my head as I'm recording these fucking videos. I just did not want to do it. Thank God I got out. Praise be Jelly Bean. Thank you for being fucking cringe. But, um, Captain Butt Sex. Ultimately, um, this. Brazo person in 2022, late 2022, they basically, you know, uh, jumped ship and became a like red pill meat watch channel. Stop me watching the MCYT people. And he just started uploading like uncut Andrew Tate podcasts and stuff. So, funnily enough, I used to be gay all of the time. I now understand that that's wrong. Now I'm a person of color and a single mother of six, and I'm immensely proud of that. I truly am. And he actually was getting like five or so million views a month doing wow. so, which is crazy. Um, I think his channel got terminated though, but yeah, it's a funny little thing that happened there. But I think ultimately the idea that you can donate to charity and that negates criticism of you is, is just foolish. I think it's very dumb. It's just, stupid. and it's also like, I'm not saying $50 isn't a lot of money, but I am saying it's $50. I'm, I'm saying 50 bucks to, to negate criticism. 50 bucks is not a lot of money. If I, if I, yeah, well, especially if you're an influencer, like if I drop 50 bucks on the ground, I'd be pissed for, for, for probably like a few hours and then I just move on. Yeah. I mean, this is a person who raised a hundred thousand dollars to flee the country and run away from Kiwi yes. farms. Don't you have a little more money from that left over? 50 bucks you? is all you got. Because I, I was looking into this on stream. So I, I'm familiar with the whole hundred thousand dollar GoFundMe thing. They left to go to Ireland, correct? Yes. Okay, that, there's no way that cost 100 grand. No. What happened? They went to Ireland. We don't, with the money. No one knows. It's Are you gone. Up in the air. $100, Where $100, is it? $100,000. Where is the 100 grand? It's literally, it's like, this is the biggest meme with Keffels. Like, Are you serious? She got $100,000 and it's just gone. Guys, this is Turkey Tom. This guy is the most autistically online person I know. He knows every little stupid detail and every little stupid drama. And this motherfucker does not know where this money is. That should tell you something. I mean, I have, I have, you know, I can speculate as to where it went. But I, it's I can confirmed. guess. Why, why are they <laughs> online now talking about here's where my money's going if we don't know where their f***ing money's going? That's a great question. This person, suck my dick, Keffel. Don't actually, please don't. Actually, I don't want you nowhere near me. But like in general, like this is disgusting. Yeah, if Keffel's wanted to suck my dick, bro, and I let Keffel's do that, what percent gay would that be? I want to know. Because I feel like it would only be like maybe 6% gay. Maybe 5% gay. Yeah. It's, this is audacious. Extremely audacious. And I mean, the other part about it that's funny to me is just the fact that uh, instead of trying to like counter it with like a good argument, right? Instead yeah. of being like, I can report this the news. The I'm throwing money at the homeless. I mean, yeah, she will simultaneously like cower in fear of the criticism and like donate $50. Yeah. And then she's also like keeping the video up. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the f***ing point at that point, right? Like, the people people don't want you to donate. They just don't want you to make that f***ing video. Wait, sorry. What was this? Ch so, um, maybe I don't know the context, but they donated $50 to trans life. Which has, James Summerton is not trans. Yeah, I was about to say. James Summerton is a, is a, is a cis trans. white man. No, no, because, because, because he killed himself. Exactly. <laughs> That's why. That's why. That's literally why. Yeah. Don't donate to this 
Side hotline donate to Trans Lifeline. So anything earned from that video will go directly to giving Trans Lifeline enough funding to connect two trans people to suicide prevention services. Well, thank God you're doing that, Keffels. <laughs> but it goes a little deeper, okay? It goes a little deeper because I've been following Keffels for a while. A lot of people have been making a lot of funny tweets about her. Speaking of that, uh, go check out my GoFundMe. It's about to crack 100k. Keffels. I spent it on crack. Here, Nick posts, is there a Keffel cycle meme yet? Picks a fight, which in this case, picking the fight was defending Vosh for being a lollycon, defending Chris Tyson for liking old Shadman stuff. We, no, but we love Chris Tyson. We do love Chris Tyson. Of course. Salam alaikum. Great guy, yeah. Habibi. Salam no. Salam alaikum, shukran, Habibi. Hey, you said guy. Oh, 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 f Oh, f I have to donate $200 to Trans Lifeline now. No, you need to donate to an unrelated charity for like Kilbasa or something like that. <laughs> Literally anything else. That is fudged up, guys. I'm guys, gals, non-binary. All right. So the so the Keppel cycle, as you guys know, is that uh, basically she'll pick a fight, she'll get exposed, she'll post vague "it's so over" videos announcing that she's leaving drama and it's hard being trans. Or I was doxxed, or my meth addiction was hard. Hello, bozo. And then she'll repeat the same process. And in this case, what she did is, as it's very obvious to see, because we have all of the clips and tweets on hand right now. I just did videos about this, right? She decides to defend Vosh for his lollycon habits or whatever. She even invokes Chris Tyson's name and is like, Ethan Klein, if you're going to be mad at Vosh, why aren't you calling out Chris Tyson? Which yes. is stupid. You know what? Actually, I think that's a genius point. Why doesn't Ethan Klein call out Chris Tyson? That's very interesting. I find that very perplexing. So we have that. She gets exposed. People bring up her past drama with Catboy Ranch. They bring up the DIY HRT directory thing. She vague posts it's over saying she's leaving the drama behind it's so hard being trans and her channel right now is a fucking nightmare by the way I want you to inspect this and read some of these titles first we have what do you want from McDonald's I'm getting a McBlizzard which I, I don't even know what this fucking video what? is hey everyone um if you've been wondering why you haven't been seeing me on camera recently am I fucked up for thinking this is like basically moist critical <laughs> same kind of monotone voice same hair I feel like she talks slower than him. Well, if Critical shaved, you'd get this video. No, but you may you may be wondering why she's talking so slow. Are you wondering that? I mean, we're five seconds in, so I... It's because I've been going through kind of a dark time. It's it's. It's your hard. fault. It's your fault. You defended Vosh. <laughs> you defended Vosh. One of the most reviled people on the internet right now, who is into weird sh**. Well, obviously, you're going to get in sh** for that. That's nobody's fault but your own. You made posts of your opinion and people criticize you for the last three years you have been constantly shitting on people going after them calling them transphobic trying to get destiny deplatformed trying to get everybody who criticizes you banned on twitter and now you're gonna cry no, it's fine. you made your bed you're 30 years old get the fuck over it my first exposure to this person i didn't even really know who she was uh, I made a video in December of 2022 is the video that kind of really started the beef I had with Jay Lynn. Oh my God. And, uh, because, shout out. Because Jay Lynn is, I guess like acquaintances with Catfuls. She like tapped her on the shoulder and was like, you need to react to this. You need to own this chub <coughs> or something. And then uh, I see her playing Sea of Thieves and like, she like watches my entire video uninterrupted, paused it once to be like, so is this guy like a Nazi or something? And then that's it. Later, I DM'd her and I was like, hey, you kind of called me a Nazi in your stream and then uploaded the VOD to YouTube. I don't really like the fact that I'm being defamed like this. Would you mind like, you know, pinning a comment saying, hey, I don't think he's a Nazi or whatever because I'm, I'm not. And she responded with like, Oh, haha, ha, thanks for being a good sport about it. What do you what do you mean I'm like a good sport? Like this isn't water polo. I don't need like what the f does this mean? Anyway, ultimately she ends up like following me back on Twitter and saying, like, you wanna come on stream and talk about it? Not really, to be honest. I have like no interest in doing it. You just that. like slandered me. Like you just you just kinda called me the N-word. Well It is N it is N N word. It is N N N word. One that offends me more than another one. If you call me the, the other N word, I wouldn't have minded really. But that one has actual well, not that the other one doesn't have meaning behind it, but that one has <laughs> has, has more of a We're getting sidetracked here. We're getting sidetracked. But ultimately, look, like this person said that they said that they said that to me, okay? And I was like, I don't want to come on your stream. Can you like take the video down or something else? Now you just left me unseen. And a few months later, like they uh, blocked me for posting some sort of like uh, phobic meme or something. So Loki, f this person. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah. Well, you you, you, you won't you, you won't a lot more, so. <laughs> you won't like her anymore by the end of this video. For I promise shizzle, you. For shizzle. So the reason why she's talking so slow and she's she's announced it here. She says, "I feel like I'm inevitably going to get lol. Why do they talk so slow?" Comments. One of these symptoms of depression I experience is called psychomotor re.
predation, which causes my emotional and physical reactions to slow down. If you experience this, there is help for it. I don't really know what else to say. Yeah. Psychomotor retardation. Psychomotor retardation is what happens when you send hormones to children. Yeah. That's what happens. I think Yeet might have psychomotor retardation. You think so? All, all from all that drank. Hey, hey, we're the private man. I'm speeding on these perks like I'm a larger man. All that drank? Because yeah. he's sipping cup all day? Oh, yeah, the double cup, double up, bruh. If anything, is justified. Oh, of It course. makes for great music. It really does. Kevl where's should, your, should, where's Kevl your number one Billboard song? Kevl should uh, quit YouTube and start making a uh, hyper-pop rap. Hey, you love piss, baby. You think you're so f***ing cool? I love that. That would be fire. That'd be sick, dude. Stop saying hormones to children and go on Ticketmaster. Announce your first tour. What would, what would her, her tour be? Um, I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know. Captain Butt Sex? Okay. <laughs> hard to be on camera and to talk about things, but I kind of just want to lay it all out there. If you're unaware, this is the year anniversary, just a bit over a week now of everything that happened last year. She needs some prime energy. No! God damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She needs to get the f up. She needs a Bud Light. She needs a Bud Light. Okay. She needs an upper decky. <laughs> really bad. She needs to start zinning. That's what she needs. Where's your zinachino, bro? Yeah, I think honestly, I, I'll set this up. You don't worry about it. I'm getting her a ticket to Zimbabwe. You are? Absolutely. You'll help her out? Oh, yeah, nonstop. Nonstop. <laughs> nonstop flight. Non flight, first class with all the. <laughs> I think she needs a one way ticket. I don't think she should go back. <laughs> yeah, just resign. She needs there. to stay there yeah. for a long period of time until well, we can figure out what the f is going on with the psychomotor reputation. She'll get a work visa there. <laughs> doing great things of when I had to go to rehab. And I know I was the butt of a lot of jokes Poopy butt. for having to go to rehab, but the honest truth about that was I was in an incredibly dark place. I was so close to losing my life last year because I did not want to be alive anymore. Do and I was doing she's every She's doing sort of the Dwayne The Rock Johnson eyebrow raise. She is. Sort of subim. Is that like psychomotor riz tardation or something? What is that? I think that's unspoken riz. I believe that's that unspoken trans That is that riz. unspoken trans riz. You would not, yeah, only... Like, you know, okay. mm. I was gonna say it's more of a Tyson persuasion. It is a Tyson persuasion. I would agree with that. But um, Kevin's been making a lot of sad videos lately, which is interesting it's because previously her videos have been very confrontational. She recently did an interview with Chris Chan. Then she decided to do a video where she decides to. Uh, <laughs> she called you out, creep loser pedo. She actually made a response Pon to me. Wait, at one is that point. Poncho? That is Poncho and me and, and Keemstar and, and Augie. All my boys. 30k views. What is this video about? N nobody cared apparently. What is it? You want to watch this? What What is it, though? I don't remember, honestly. I don't think I watched this. I'm curious. I don't know if I want to watch it, but what is it? I don't know. So something really interesting happened the other day. On my second channel, Kev Live, I released now? a video entitled, Is This Sneeko Clone a Nazi? The video was hit with Yo, a community guideline. Poncho is not a Sneeko clone. Or a Nazi. The video being taken down as YouTube said that I was promoting hate speech. I eventually convinced YouTube to reverse the decision, but only after they got bullied on Twitter. The video in question, which I'll leave- I, This is, because I know what this person does. They basically paint these narratives that there's like this cosmic trans justice that always works in her favor. When in reality, it's like YouTube is like, oh yeah, our bot fucked up. That's that always it, but for, for her, any action against her is transphobia. Yeah. You disagree with her, it's transphobia. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's what she's been doing recently on YouTube. This YouTuber won't stop harassing me. Mr. Repsion, big YouTuber, 750k subs. You guys probably know him from his various videos about Onision. Oh, hell no! So I'd like to apologize. Well, I'm very curious how he harassed her. Let's find out. There's a situation right now that I really want to talk about, about this YouTuber named Repsion. He has about 700,000 subscribers. And he has been incredibly deranged recently. He said a bunch of incredibly. Wait, what did he say? She's de what? What is he? What is he? He's incredibly deranged. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know he's. <laughs> There's a situation right now that I really want to talk out. about about this YouTuber named Repsion. He has about 700,000 subscribers, and he has been incredibly deranged recently. He said a bunch of incredibly bizarre and threatening statements towards me, and I honestly have just ignored it up until this point until he came into my comments. I mean, they were right. They are right. And literally, literally. The contention that she has is that Kiwi Farms called her out for this $100,000 GoFundMe that went nowhere. That is her contention with the Kiwi Farms. The same thing Farms. that I said. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. And that's what he's talking about.
Okay. And said Kiwi Farms is right. So what's really bizarre about the situation is that Repsion and I actually were pretty amicable towards each other. We have DMs going- Yeah, because he probably didn't know how much of a fucking freak you were or the fact that you were sending hormones to kids. And now that he found out, he doesn't want to be around you. Giant shocker. When people find out you're a shitty person, they don't like you anymore. Is a YouTube comment harassment, really? Is this, is this really a situation where you're being harassed? Back to just after I was swatted back in August, 2022, he was being genuinely helpful and friendly. Yeah, the reason why he was being helpful is because you were lying to the media about what happened and getting famous off of that. So for context, she she got swatted. The police came to her house, right? I heard about that. Yeah, the police came to her house and she claims that she was misgendered by them. At one point they called her a he. The reason why they misgendered her is because she had a previous rap sheet. She had a previous arrest. That is why they misgendered her because she was already booked under her dead name, Lucas. Do, right? I, do I give a f Though. Well, this is why this is important, right? Because she left the country after the swatting happened, saying that she was in fear of her life. And the $100,000, part of that was supposed to be for a legal fund to go after the police department. For dead naming her. For, for dead naming her, misgendering her, whatever, like, mistreatment. Are you just, like, serious? I'm serious. I'm 1,000% serious. This is real. Not like not like an unauthorized chokehold? No. Not like excessive force? They, they, they didn't do any kneeling in this situation. It wasn't that kind of thing. Okay, got it. It, I, it seriously was not that kind of kind of thing so like they did nothing I, I, they I, took they I took her computer them. for like a day mm -hmm. that's what they did okay and this is this is her fucking and you need a hundred grand to deal with that apparently okay apparently and the, and she didn't even deal with it the only thing she did was file a human rights violation uh basically just like a free complaint with the state which costs zero dollars so that is all she has done okay where the money go so it seems like i just took a massive bite out of a nothing burger exactly then on August 29th of the same year, he posted a tweet that I had sent to a locked Twitter account, and he asked me for the context Whoa. of this tweet. Hello. Yeah, I'd love to know I the know that on and stuff. What are the, I want to read that. This, Go back. A hypersexualized environment that is also filled with minors is a good start. <laughs> I mean, hopefully this, I, this, is some, this is some meta irony. I'd love, love to know the context of this. What, what, what is this? What could possibly... What this could, this could be, be a Brody TV moment. This could be a Brody TV moment, or it could be like, Welcome to Subway, what can I help you with? Here is Jared Fogel. You may have seen him on the news. It could be that. Yeah. Would you like that toasted? Yeah. It could be a would you like that toasted moment. This tweet. I know that on its own, this looks terrible. Here's the context. It's so terrible. Um, your bit rate up i know that on its own this looks terrible here's wait that's not even my video no it's, it's not, not it's, it's her, her video. video it's the tweet was so bad <laughs> even youtube was like what the f yeah it's a the the context. Matrix. maybe i should make a list of what's wrong with this community okay so in fairness this was in context mm. this was in context i don't like the profile picture but it was wait, in context wait. maybe maybe we should like, oh it was in context. Yeah. Of what I was replying to, which was a tweet about- The irony here is that, like, she literally lives against what she just wrote. Yeah. She sexualizes minors. By giving them hormones. Yeah, and also, I don't know if you've seen the Lonza video, but there's, like, tweets of her flirting with 16-year-olds. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. Not too good. I believe that is Ohio Riz? It is Ohio win. Ohio win. Ohio win, Riz. Yeah, it's sort of a Voshian Ohio dialect. <laughs> it, is a, it is a Voshian perspective she's espousing. And honestly, we have to respect her because she's well read. Mm -hmm. um, she lives by her principles. The core tenets of Voshian. She, sa she says that she likes it and then she does it. There you go. Based. That's how you do it. Definition of based. What the problems are in the femboy community. And I stand by this. I think that the sexualization of minors is a huge problem in that community. Now, fast forward to the current day. I have not actually talked to Repsion since all of that went down. That was until Repsion decided to tag me in a tweet saying that he hopes that I unalive myself. <laughs> he actually did say that. <laughs> that is... Uh, well, let's see why he said that. God... Little, little thing going on there. I would say so. I've been completely MIA on Twitter since last Wednesday, but I just want to come back and say that both Keffels and Tipster are beyond help. <coughs> They're both two idiots who defend and then blame everyone else for the things they inserted themselves into being children. I like, okay. All the boss drama that he put himself into for being a perverted lolly freak. All three of these sick, twisted f**ks need to lobotomize themselves. You defend someone incorrectly and then cry victim when you get called out by thousands for supporting someone having a lolly con on their PC. Truly disgusting or Paul, so he'll be yourself one day. I mean, I guess it's not good that he said that 
that last thing, but I understand his frustration. I understand his frustration. And Kevl's also in the past has told people to kill themselves and has had no problem with it. Yeah. She has been extremely edgy towards her enemy, so I don't see why this is such a big problem well, for her. Like the last six words out of a, I'd say like 70 word little paragraph here. Like you shouldn't just ignore everything that was just said, you know? Like the, the middle of this is actually raising a good point. Like, yeah, you did. Okay, not even just that. There are probably 60 people that could have a video that's 30 minutes long about how Keffels has harassed them. This is not harassment. True. You're fine. Grow the fuck up. You're 30. Then he got suspended from Twitter, came back, and I said- I like this sort of Mike Wazowski, where's your paperwork type fit we've got going on here. Yeah, this is very strange. Outfit of the day, it's sort of like that, um, you know that person, the green alien? Look it up. Well, who? Good little bit here. It's the, look up Mike Wazowski, where's your paperwork? Oh, I just looked up green alien. I think I should have been looking up the, uh- I'm gay! The librarian from Monsters, Inc. The resemblance is uncanny. It was more of a fit, I would say. The fit, the fit kind of tracks. And she talks slowly, just like her. Yeah, he's literally the same thing. Missing those glasses. Look though. at those pearly whites. Gorge. That he hoped I get essayed in prison. He's just been completely <laughs> deranged recently. Now, now again, I basically ignored all of this until now, but I decided to address this. And this also led to like the most bizarre back and forth on Twitter. I said, just saw this in my YouTube comments. This is just targeted harassment. If you want to side with a far right forum that made multiple people unalive themselves, I can't stop you. But having big YouTubers go out of their way to say stuff like this to me is disgusting. Repsion quote tweeted this and called me a crybaby, said that he knew that I'd try to play victim and that he has his own thread, which he doesn't complain about, so I need to get over it. One of his fans actually called him out on this and said, this is honestly the worst take from you. I don't care if you hate Claire or whatever, but being a smarmy prick about extreme harassment and doxing tells me you've taken steps back somewhere. And he just responds by trolling, saying, I just ate a kiwi for lunch today. I don't know how my farmland is wrong. All I do is harvest kiwis all day long. Okay. Someone else posted this meme. Repsion, when farmers share private information of Onision's victims, I sleep. Repsion, when Keppel says, feels bad, man. Real sh and then he just admits that he's literally doing all of this because he finds harassing me fun, not because he even knows what's going on. One person asked him, what was Kiwi Farms right about? And he said, I actually don't know. All I know is that it's a troll meme at this point. I see people say all the time and it makes people go bad in response and it's hilarious. It worked. Now, I don't want Repsion to be deplatformed. I don't even care. I just want to know why. Why is this acceptable? And why is it that a huge YouTuber can just get away with harassing smaller YouTubers and saying all of these awful, disgusting things. Why is it that a YouTuber with 50,000 subscribers was funding a website that sent hormones to children against their parents' will? Why is it that a YouTuber with 50,000 subscribers collected $100,000 in donations for a legal fund to fight the London, Ontario Police Department and did nothing with it? How is a person who has done all of this complaining about fucking any action against them? You are a cry bully fucking loser. Everything that has happened to you, everything that will happen to you as a result of your own actions. You do a shitty thing, you cry about it, you cry about the response, you cry about the consequences, and then you repeat that over and over again, just like Nick DiOrio said. You're a fucking embarrassment to the trans community, you're an embarrassment to the YouTube community, you're an embarrassment to the world. It is embarrassing to be you, you are a fucking joke. I think Drake said it best. Embarrassing. embarrassing. So yeah, that's that's this couple's video. Uh, which honestly, look, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say that Repsion should have said all of what he said, especially especially if he didn't actually know what was going on. But like, Kevils has done the same and worse. I honestly don't give a sh the never-ending nightmare of being a trans YouTuber. You saw the video from the other day. I have a lot of thoughts that I want to put out there. Voice cool. crack to start things off. <laughs> Why is every little every video just crying? Why is every video she posts crying? You saw the video from the other day. I have a lot of thoughts that I want to put out there about it. The reaction to it was honestly quite interesting. The video is basically me saying that I've been struggling with mental health issues, something that, is that I have not really made a secret over the last several years of my career, and that it's increasingly hard for me to live stream for a couple reasons. One of those reasons is because it's a live environment, people harass me quite a bit. They have full access to be able to do that in a way that other formats like YouTube videos... Well, I feel so bad that people are mean to you. Do you remember when you said that you were glad that Mr. Medicare got cancer and hope he dies soon? Do you remember when you said that? Because he was calling you out for supporting a website that makes hormones in bathtubs and ships it to teenagers. Yeah. I don't 
fucking care. You wish for people's death regularly when it benefits you, and then you fucking cry about it when you get a little bit of backlash, okay? Fuck you. Just fucking leave. No one fucking likes you. You're a loser. Your life is an embarrassment. Ultimately, too, I think the reason they have a platform is from ratioing people on Twitter. Yes. That's harassment. Yes. Getting people, like, even, like, okay, like, Ian Miles Chong, I get that he's, like, a soy f***ing loser, and, like, you know, he kind of, I guess, does, he deserves to get owned, right? And so do people on Twitter. Like, ratio whoever you want, but then to just, like, act like... It's, br it's brigading. Guy, it's brigading. To act like someone in your chat calling you cringe or, or even being transphobic or whatever is, like, the worst thing in the world. It's like, okay, then maybe don't become the person who's known for that entire thing. And also, it's like, you're gonna complain about people harassing you live. Like, to what I understand, you do that live. Like, when you're live, you harass other people. That's how I- that's how I heard about you, is because I was told, like, oh, this person called you a you on a live stream, I'm like, okay, what the f okay, like, what? If Keffels was not a deplatforming, lying, slandering piece of sh then, like, none of this would have happened. If you were just making content in a vacuum f***ing gaming, you would not get sh Yeah. And you can also just filter words in your chat for, like, mean people. I filter words in my chat because on YouTube, there's certain things that, you know, TOS doesn't like. It's incredibly emotionally taxing to hide symptoms of depression. One of the things that I suffer from, which I'm sure this video will get, mo which Ow. I feel like this video might even get deep. You're like balance the fucking audio on a yeah, video. Jesus. That. Demonetized if I were to actually say it out loud. So I'll just put it on the screen. It is a <laughs> symptom that causes my speech to slow down, causes my emotional reaction to slow down. I also experienced something called fibro fog, which is a symptom of fibromyalgia. Here's what I'll say, okay? This person is, is claiming that fibro fog. And here's what I'll say about that, okay? Apparently that's like a symptom of depression and you're, you're, you're forgetful and you have a reduced ability to think quickly. I would say, not that I'm like a doctor or anything, but ultimately, depression, there are things you can do to obviously moderate how depressed you are. I'm not going to say you can just flip a switch or anything, but like, ask anyone, like, are, are there things that you can do to exacerbate depression or improve it? Obviously. And I think this person is living a lifestyle that is not conducive to any amount of improvement, okay? I'm not going to say it's going to fix anything, but ultimately, like, don't they just, like, sit on Twitter all day? Like, isn't that Yes, it? we're not seeing a lot of uh, physical exercise, by my judgment. I mean, I don't think they're exercising very much. Yeah, well, I think that's also, I mean, that's, I don't know, I, you don't even have to exercise. Like, do they go outside? Like, they just look, oh, well, I don't want to be mean, but, like, they just don't look well. They're not well. Because so, they spent the last three years spewing unironic actual hate and bile yeah. on the internet, and so obviously they feel like. Shit. You guys want to know something interesting too? <laughs> there's actually uh, there's uh, this, is, this is real by the way. If you like live like you're sick, you will become sick. Like if you're in bed all day, like you have the flu or something, but you you don't have the flu, you're just in bed because you're tired and whatever, you're depressed. You will literally get physically ill. That's a true thing. There's a relationship between inactivity to that extent, like living like you're an impatient and like actually becoming that way. Like there's a, that, that's a true thing. Yeah. I mean, to me, the, to me, the biggest thing is like, I feel bad for someone who is in these circumstances when they're at least trying and attempting to be a virtuous person, right? This is someone who's like defending cartoon child on the internet to thousands of people. How am I supposed to feel bad for this individual? Like, I'm not saying they deserve like every bad thing to happen to them, but in the case of Keffels, they deserve every bad thing to happen to them. I, I don't I don't like this person. This is in my mind, one of the few people on the internet who I fucking hate and honestly belongs in jail. When you fund a website that sends hormones to kids, you belong in jail, full stop. And I know I keep harping on this, but like that is the biggest thing here to me. Like funding that is more evil than anything else she's done. The deplatforming is bad enough. The hormones to children is fucking crazy. And this has been often a thing that people have mocked me for consistently, even though these are things that I'm not making a conscious decision to. You, she, she said mogged? Yeah. People have mogged me for my depression? Yeah. You need to be sunlight maxing? Basically. She doesn't need to start mewing. Serotonin I will maxing. Say. Okay. Do. So getting to the point of this video, I'm sure you saw the like to dislike ratio, which again, thank you all sound. so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. But good? it's kind of crazy how many hate watchers that I have. Like, people who go out of their way. Is it crazy? Is it crazy that you have hate watchers? Do you know who you are? Do you have any self-awareness of the kind of person you are? <laughs> like, okay, first of all, your channel's not even that big. Like, look, I'm not gonna shit on her. Okay, I, I, I am gonna shit on her. You have 50,000 subscribers. I'm not saying that's the worst thing in the world. But your channel's pretty dead. Your audience doesn't watch your shit. You barely post. You're probably getting, I don't know, 150... Actually, not even close to that. Maybe 100,000 views per month. Nobody is watching you really for like you, right? Nobody is watching Keffel's content being like, I can't wait for the next video. The only people at this point who watch her are people who hate her. And this is an experience you and I don't have. The majority of people who watch us like us. We have people who don't like our sh 
you have the Keffels of the world, right? But genu but generally speaking, like we're not dealing with this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why she's in so much is because she got herself in shit from the t the list of fucking things I just described. And all she can do repeatedly is fucking cry. Is fucking cry about circumstances that she created. It's embarrassing. In order to negatively engage with me, even when it has absolutely nothing to do with any of the things that they are supposedly upset about. I'll okay, so like when you send hormones to kids, people are mad at you regardless of what you do. Yeah. Like, like I feel, I feel like this is one of the few things where like, like we made a lot of goofy videos about whoever. Right. Where like, there's a lot of goofy shit we do. Like, <clears throat> the Fuzz Ninety Nine is goofy. Sure. They're not evil. I don't think They're so. They're just like corny. This person is like. That's kind of all you need to know. You don't yeah. need to be an internet spurg like me. Like, you are, I'd, I'd say, probably way less terminally online than I am. When you hear somebody sends hormones to kids, you're probably like, Dad, yeah. go well, to jail. Well, the idea that, like, people are being mean to me about things that I haven't done, it's like, well, if someone roasts your haircut, it's because they don't like you. Why don't they like you? No, well, not because of your haircut. The haircut is secondary. They'll be like, Ben Shapiro gets no pussy. And it's not because Ben Shapiro actually can't get pussy. It's because they, they think he's transphobic or they think right. he's racist. Yeah. It's an extension of the already existing criticism. If people don't like you for things you've done, they're gonna roast you for things that are kind of unrelated. That's just kind of, you know, the burger comes They just don't like fries. you. The burger comes with fries. It does. The Chris burger comes with fries. The Chris style Mr. Beast burger, loaded with estrogen, comes with fries. Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! I love Chris. He's a hungry boy. I'm really hungry, really dude. Hungry? I'm really hungry. I'm f***ing, I got the Bud Light. Yeah. I just need the burger now. We do. That's all we need. But it's kind of like, people call Sneeko a cuck or whatever, mostly because <laughs> they hate his politics. Yeah, that's like, obviously, so. like, yeah, he had the thing, but I don't, no one, I don't think anyone actually thinks he's, like, into cuckoldry. No. That's kind of silly. They think he's a fake alpha male, they think he's a grifter, so cuck just kind of rolls off the tongue. Ultimately, well, that's what this is. Part of it's also, like, Sneeko spent a lot of time judging other people for their sexual preferences. So, as a result, people want to judge him, right? Yeah. Like, if you spend your entire life being anti-gay, and then it turns out you suck dick every day. Like, obviously, that hits harder than someone who's pro-gay and sucks dick every yeah. day. <laughs> like, obviously, True. these things, these things are kind of linked right intrinsically yeah. and so when you spend your time shitting on people all the time going after them trying to ruin their lives on the internet and then you get shit on a little bit like i'm less inclined to feel bad once again like this is the same thing this doesn't even have anything to do with trans people or trans issues but whatsoever it, it people continuously <laughs> try to bring it back to this point my moderators cleaned up the comment section so i don't have any of these comments to show you but one of I the- I don't even know what the comment says, but this is literally a total drama, drama island profile picture. <laughs> What's the name? Latina, Latina Parfait. Down, like, less than three minutes after the video went live can really demonstrate how absolutely- I'm sorry, she could just put it on the screen. We don't need this fucking sluggish- Why is it like the slowest of all time? Literally, because- cause, No, because she has that psychological retardation. Oh, okay. So that, so that that affects her editing as well? Yeah, psychomotor retardation affects the screen the way it, it affects the keyframing yeah it's sort of like the cheese touch everything she touches has the net okay the now i see it's so making sense now and she's editing it's sort of like the comments also drag along soon i mean look i, <laughs> I Bizarre. these comments aren't even that bad if you leave nobody would shed a tear i mean i agree if you left the internet everybody would celebrate in unison wham wham i'm a pdf file wham, wham let me play victim and delete comments i mean look i'm not saying kevils is a file but when you defend lollycon and the bigger thing is you fund a website that sends hormones to, to kids. Do you expect people to think that you're not creepy at, at all? Like, what do you really expect to happen from that, right? I don't get called a file, like, ever. Maybe a random comment here and there. Yeah. I'm not regularly called a file on the internet. I'm not saying people aren't falsely accused. But in the case of Keffels, like, where there's smoke, there's fire. Some of these comments were, this is someone who is openly saying that they hope that I unalive myself. That's not, That's what, not they what they said. You could probably actually find a comment that says that, and you're yeah, too lazy to is, find it. This is actually embarrassing. <laughs> they said, if you leave. I, I don't even understand, like, what drives a person to behave like this in the first place. I don't even understand what drives a person to celebrate Mr. Medicare getting cancer and hope that he dies. Once again, the same fucking shit. I have never gone out of my way to dislike bomb a video of another creator or, like, leave negative comments and yes you fucking have all the time on twitter that's your fucking life can we do a little keffels shitting and being mean on people compilation right here
try to focus on my own stuff and my own community, I, I don't get it. Now, I know what some of you- Well, when you focus on not your own stuff and not your own community for years, you get for it. And by even acknowledging this stuff to this day, you are giving people validation for shitting on you. Listen, a little bit of advice, Capitals, I'm going to give you just a little bit. Now that I want you to take it, because I fucking hate you. If you want people to, like, stop being mean, stop talking about them being mean. They want you to make videos like this crying. If you were going to say, Koopal, Koopal Clara, Koopal Clara. Why is it so loud? It's really not doing my ears any favor. The audio balancing is bad. It's really bad. Kefal. Why are you engaging with all of these hate comments? Stop engaging with the negativity. And it's like, I agree with you. Like, I can't even bring up most of these comments because I have my moderators remove most of the incredibly bigoted comments that I get on literally every single video I have ever uploaded to YouTube. But the reason why I wanted to show this in the first place was to talk about how much of an impact that has. It, it, it literally just is so nasty and such a pervasive okay i'm, I'm bored with you uh what's this the next video she's posted james summerton may have taken his own life i think we probably know the bit the situation here. with james summerton has taken a very very dark turn if you don't great cut the situation with james summerton has taken a very very dark turn if you don't know dark tur dark tur a dark turd a dark turd and Bobex over here, I think, summed up the situation pretty well, saying, and she wonders why nobody watches her. All she's done this past month is defend Vosh, Lolly, and Cry, and that's accurate. And I think, uh, as a result, <laughs> we're probably going to see a lot more Keffel's hate farming videos from everyone on the internet because she's f***ing up. She's being retarded. She's being stupid once again, and now she's crying about it. At this point, I think, you know, even I am getting slightly bored with Keffel's uh, as far as, like, the normal content goes, right? But what I can say I am very excited for is the fact that Mudahar is apparently working on a video about Keffel's in Catboy Ranch. On March 4th, he tweeted, Keffel's video was slightly delayed. He's still researching, talking to doctors, and now I have to add a bank heist as part of the story. And you guys don't know what this is about. Apparently, Bob Posting, who was uh, running the DIY HRT directory, got arrested for robbing a bank, which is like perhaps the funniest turn of events of all time. All these people, once again, fucking freaks who belong in jail cells. This person, Bob Posting, is probably in one right now. But I'm very excited for what Mudahar, uh, what Mudahar has to produce. And I'll probably be doing a video of my own on the main channel eventually about the Keffel stuff. Um, really just digging in and going in depth, compiling all my past videos. She is trending, and if you look it up, it's not exactly, a, you know, positive messaging. 109 countries may have not... Oh, Jesus. Dick Molesterson going crazy over here. Little J-Boys diss. Keffel's speedrunning drama. Keffel's got bullied into donating the money he made for monetizing and making James Summerton's side video all Gee. about him. Sorry, my bad. Tipster is really just a dumb motherfucker. Like, as if the community didn't already have ample reason to dislike Vosh or has in the past not shed on Vosh for much less. All Tipster and Kevils did was add way more entertainment value. And uh, I would basically agree with that. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, Cheeto, what's your message to the fans out there, the Kevils fans uh, like us? I get it. I see where you are. I see that you're not doing great. You have psycho mortal re. What is it? Psycho motor re. You have psycho mortar. Psycho motor. Psycho motor. Psycho motor re. Not mortar. Her car is a psychopath. No. Psycho motor re. She has psycho motor re. You know, you're not doing great. You're feeling a little upset. You're like hopping in the chipmunks, you know? You had a bad day. Say <laughs> so I get it, okay? I've had bad days too. But I don't think at any point in time this person should be your idol. This should not be the person you look up to in any sort of way. And I feel like oftentimes people on YouTube will address the problem and not give a proper solution. If you want trans content, find trans content, okay? At this point, like, you're obviously watching Keffel, so you're, you're not turning your head away from trans content. Find someone else. Really that simple. I don't know who they are. Go on Reddit. I'm sure Reddit will have plenty of them. Reddit find will. A trans count, find a trans content creator that you can enjoy who is not doing any of this. This is not good for your brain. It really is not, okay? When you're watching content creators, you're ultimately looking at someone who you will who is role modeling for you. Someone who, in some way or another, you're gonna copy what they're doing and, and whatever. This person is just gonna make you more depressed, ultimately. You have the choice to watch anything. Don't watch someone who's gonna make your life worse. That's sort of my message to you. Find something that will improve your life in any sort of way. You don't owe this person shit. I know you might feel like, you know, compelled to like watch them and to support them or whatever. That's kind of bullshit, okay? They're a fucking grown adult. They can handle their own shit. And if they can't, you as the viewer should not be, you know, sort of guilted into doing so. So find something <laughs> else to watch. Read a book. Read a f 
fucking book, okay? Go on a hike. Do something else. You don't need to watch Keffels. That's that's my message right there. So you actually gave a pretty sincere response there. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna just say um, they should. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I've been A Cheeto. This is Turkey Tom, and I hope you enjoy this video. Check out his channel. Check out my channel. Check out the Keffels channel for all the best trans content. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No